I'm Jeremy Rapanich, and I love barbecue so much, I'd gladly bathe naked in a nice piquant sauce. I'm Patrick Cappiello, and I'd give all my worldly possessions to get that image out of my head. We're here at Vintry Wines in New York City. We're talking about barbecue. What are you thinking? Well, I mean, I think there's nothing more American than barbecuing, right? So therefore, I'm always looking at bringing American wines, a full-bodied red wine. For me, there's nothing more American than Zinfandel. It's hey, a wait a minute, wait a minute. That's just shit my grandmother drinks, right? No, it's not the white Zinfandel. It's <laughs> oh, okay. The, this is the real Zinfandel. It's the red Zinfandel. Look, like, see? So there's, there's nothing pink about that. What makes this so good for barbecue when it comes to flavor? Well, I mean, I think barbecue is something that's bold in flavor, right? And I think if you have that type of food with more elegant wines, the wine is going to kind of get lost in the shuffle. So Zinfandel has a flavor profile that matches what you get with barbecue, that smokiness, that meatiness. You really want a wine that can stand up to it. Is there some acidity to this one that like cuts through the fats of like uh, ribs or something like that? Or? There's a structure, the, the tannin. So the tannin mm -hmm. is that thing that kind of builds up between your lips and your, and your teeth. Tannins are the things that kind of wash away fat more than acid. Where am I looking for goods in what part of the states? It's Northern California for sure. Uh, Napa is really an area that has some of the oldest vines planted as Zinfandel, but all over up there. I don't know, Zinfandel is kind of its own monster and it's, and it's kind of ours, which is great. I mean, it's a varietal that's, that's not really planted anywhere else. Unless they're white Zinfandel and then they usually <laughs> taste like shit. <laughs> The first thing that I, I try to make people understand is that storing your wine someplace cool is the most important thing. Ideally, wine cellars are in basements of houses that are not only cool, but moist. And that helps to keep the cork moist, which is gonna give the wine the ability to age even longer. 